Yes, hello folks and welcome back to the video. Welcome back to the book predicts. Today I'm here to discuss a very lucrative strategy, a very good strategy, a very good method, one of the best methods that you can rely on, even as much as right now the matches are at a at a break. There's a, an international break for the matches. Euros are going on and other international friends are going on, qualifiers are going on. But then it's the right time because during this time is when you can study, you can get time to study on the strategies and different things when it comes to when it comes to knowing where you can place your money in a very good way. So I'll be uploading videos i'll be doing videos during this period i'll be doing many videos so that at the end of the when the matches come back or when the leagues resume because we mostly when it comes to football we depend on the leagues mostly then we depend on the international matches so that when they come back you and me and many other people who would have watched this video will be in a position to learn and to know and to have the right knowledge to place on different matches because at the end of the day as i do tell you it's not always about what, what, what i provide day in day out it's not always what the other tipsters on youtube or whatever platform that you go to provide but then it's much important to have enough knowledge concerning the same because when you have enough knowledge concerning the matches that are being provided then it means that at the end of the day you'll be able to be placing your money where you are guaranteed that you are at a good position to win you'll be able to place your money with a lot of wisdom and a lot of knowledge not just betting blindly because i wonder sometimes when people just take the matches and then they bet directly they don't have even an idea of what is going on provided you have the booking code you just place and then at the end of the day when you lose you're like oh god i hate that tipster i hate these tipsters from youtube i hate this person but then that's not the point the point is you need some knowledge and you need some at least a clue of what is going on before you can be able to place on the different matches so in this video i'm doing a video concerning the over 1.5 goals winning strategy it's a great strategy and one you can count on and without much further ado let's dive in and check in what we are having today Welcome back. So uh, when we talk about the over 1.5 goal strategy, it's very simple. First, you just have to understand what are the basics when it comes to the over 1.5 strategy. You have to understand the pros and cons. You have to understand what logistics you can take into place when placing on this market. And finally, you'll be able, to, I'll be able to share, or at the end of the video, I'll be able to share some of the links that you can count on when it comes to this strategy and some of the links you should be avoiding when it comes to the over 1.5 5 goals so over 1.5 goals technically it means that there'll be at least two goals under them at the end of the match it might be the first quarter the first half the at full time but then what is important is at 90 minutes if you have bet if you have placed a bet on over 1.5 goals at full time you are betting that at 90 minutes the total number of goals should be at least two goals so it's a very simple thing maybe you can be asking yourself can there be an alpha goal because we are talking about over 1.5 goals but then when it's placed in an over 1.5 goals it makes it it makes it easier so so it leaves you with only two options it's either you are winning or you're losing the, the 0.5 goal the up goal right there is there to gain revenge for the, so that at the end of the match if there are two goals you win if there's only one goal you lose only two possible outcomes because if you go to other other bookmakers you like one expert and others they have over two and over two it leaves you with three three outcomes but then the over 1.5 goals make it makes it so easier so that only two maximum outcomes are expected so here's what happens if this only if, if the match ends in a zero 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 one or a one zero then it means that that is an earned 
that is an under 1.5 goals but then if any other score apart from 0 0 1 0 and 0 1 it means that you are at an over 1.5 goals so a barren draw gets you nothing a one and a team winning with just a single goal gets you nothing but the rest of the scores they give you victory that that makes it the best and the easiest market because it's very straightforward since it has only two outcomes and it's a, a binary market that most of the people can now bet on so one of the things that you consider oh why is this strategy the most profitable why is this the best strategy why is the over 1.5 goals market the best market to adventure well, first it has a very high probability of success because if you consider many of the teams in this world many of the teams always try to score a goal and they sometimes consider goal it least that it means that this market all this the the over 1.5 goals it, it's the best I, I can say how can i say it in a better way the probability of it occurring it is at almost 90 percent because it's very rare for a match to end at a zero zero especially when big teams are playing against each other so that's one of the reasons why it is considered the most profitable strategy another thing is that it has lower odds so lower odds by this i mean like it's an odd between maybe the odds you might find them ranging between 1.15 and 1.3 those are yes low odds but then the lower the odds if you've been in gambling for long enough you know that the lower the odds they are the probability of the outcome so that is why it is the most profitable strategy another one is that it has a wide range of suitable matches or it has consistency because there are teams that will always deliver there are leagues that will always deliver high competitive leagues low competitive leagues whichever league that you want to mention this is it does it doesn't have any discrepancy in such a way like maybe a given league cannot provide the this whatever maybe a given competition will not give you this these goals maybe a given team will not give you these goals but then it has a fast 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 wide range of matches so it means that the strategy works for many different leagues many competitions we can talk of europa conference league whatever competition that you want to mention and many teams whether they're top tier teams all the small teams the underdogs they can guarantee producing an over 1.5 goals so another thing is that it has less dependency on the players this one it doesn't depend on key players because when you talk about teams like uh, all the strategy like the force market we talked about key players some key players consider you considering some key players when you're betting on the false market but then for this one it doesn't have a dependency on players on individual players it is the maximum effort of a team to produce goals and that is what is important another one it is very flexible because it doesn't matter if one team scores or not if the other team manages to score two goals against a clean shot of two goals plus then we win if the match ends on a draw we can also win a draw over one one in this case so there's nothing like it's not affected like the one x to market okay yes so those are the five reasons why this is the most profitable strategy so how to implement this strategy is very simple First, you have to choose a league and a competition. Choose a league and a competition. At the end of this video, I'll be sharing some of the leagues or some of the countries that can guarantee us direct wins. Another thing, you have to analyze the recent matches. How has the team been performing? How, how is the scoring ability of the team? How is the team conceding goals? That is one of the best stat statistics that will help you while analyzing to implement this strategy another thing is that you have to look for value yes it's very okay for the matches to have low odds but then there's no good of you going with the odds of maybe 1.0 something so for me i do encourage for you to go with an odd range between 1.15 to 1.35 which is a good odd 1.4 odds they are starting to complicate all the occurrence all the probability of winning such it becomes very hard okay that's why you have to avoid the odd of 1.5 four and above and avoid the order 1.1 and below because little odds they're not worth your risk because how many matches are you going to combine before you get an order of two if you're taking a 1.1 
maybe four five matches which is not worth the case of course because if you understand football very well you know that it doesn't matter the lower the odd but the higher the matches the lower the probability of winning so another thing is that always trust your instincts if you feel like a team has been performing very well but then the team is not in a very good form to score goals just get away from it so uh, uh, with me, I just have a list of some of the leagues that you can count on. High scoring leagues, in this case, you consider uh, a league like Germany Bundesliga, Spain La Liga, Sweden Alvenskan, most of the England matches also they deliver, Norway, Elitalian, Finland, England, Iceland, Netherlands, Austria, Greece, Estonia, USA, MLS, that's a very sure one. Latvia, Denmark, Super League, Chinese Leagues, Japan J League, Portugal, Portugal, yeah, we are talking about the Portugal Premier League, Scotland League One, Scotland Premier League, Italy Serie A, Saudi Arabia, yes, and Turkey Super League. These are also just a, a few of the many high scoring leagues that you can ever count on. The ones that you should be avoiding most of the time, they are leagues from Iran, Argentina, Tunisia, Spain, Segunda, they do deliver 0-0 draws that we don't expect, Kazakhstan, Kenya Premier League, just run away from that league. Most of the Tanzania matches, Algeria, Moloko, Tobola, Bulgaria Second League, Romania, Oman and Ukraine teams. Those are just also what I mean by this section is that they are not technically not delivering. There are matches that will deliver from these leagues, and the ones that are related as the high scoring leagues, it doesn't mean that every team will be delivering the over 1.5 goals. So it's upon you to go and study which team is good at this and how is the form of the team recently. So, factors to consider when using the strategy first, consider the team statistics as I had identified earlier. So what are the statistics of the team? Does the team has a scoring ability of, let's say, an over 1.5 goals? Does the team have an ability to concede goals? The recent form of the team, how has it been performing? The head-to-head -head records between the two teams that are in question. The injury reports. Are some of the key players missing? Are some of the how is the defense system of the team? How is the attacking system of the other team? Then poor conditions of weather especially this one when we're talking about uh, the live bet or the in betting the in betting consider the weather conditions and motivation of the stakes how are the stakes moving going up just avoid so another thing uh, the tips and variations to consider is that you have to look for high scoring teams avoid low scoring teams consider the form of key players use combination of statistics uh, this one is available maybe in an uh, in other apps if you for example you take an app like the flash score you'll be able to get the the number of expected goals the xg and you'll be able to look at it and know if we are expecting many goals or less goals so what to avoid when we are betting on uh over 1.5 goals is to avoid avoid deep 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 in-depth research for uh for the for the derbies and high stake matches just avoid them avoid high strong leagues avoid teams of equal magnitude that don't have an habit of scoring okay and above all the last thing that you have to do for your soul is always bet responsibly another thing you have to avoid especially if you want to become a profitable over 1.5 goal scorer is you going with maximum odds you fighting for odds of 1.4 and 1.45 odds or 1.6 odds when we're betting on over 1.5 goals just look for odds that are lying in the range of 1.2 something and work with those ones so another thing if you want to make a profitable or a fortune out of the 1.5 goals you can do in play betting or live betting it's the best it's the best for everybody and because you here you'll be able to watch the game for a few minutes and then you are like yeah this much can deliver this one can deliver so that's the sweetness of doing an in-play betting so as we come to a conclusion you have to notice that it's the simplicity of the over 1.5 years it's very simple as a, an, a sweet and understandable strategy but then it also needs you to do research it's not about you going and picking matches 
and then just betting on them. Do careful analysis, do study the, the trends of the games, do study the matches, and at the end of the day, you'll be able to reap well because this market is my favorite and it's the best market that I can recommend to everyone. So you have come to the end of this video. I'll see you in the next video. Learn, be better, and always bet with and gamble responsibly because when it comes to football, this is about your money. And when it comes to gambling, be responsible of your own money. I'll see you in the next video with more strategies, more bets, more tips, and above all, always bring our best day in, day out. Subscribe, leave a comment, and like the video. I'll see you in the next time.